what's up everyone it's your girl armani welcome back to my channel and today i got a lot of things on my mind that i want to discuss get off and maybe you can relate but girl it has been weighing me down and i just gotta talk about it yeah I'm not sure where all this negativity just randomly came from and the death threats, but um, it needs to stop immediately. I don't know why are people coming for me in the comments like I did something wrong. Baby, I'm just showing my journey. This is for me. Um, this is who I am. This is what I do. That's my personality. If you don't like it, that's okay. You must like it because you tuned the fuck in. And if you don't like it, then thank you for coming to my TED Talk. It's just that simple. Death threats, messaging me, and just being weird. That's where I cross the line. I don't come on here and talk shit about nobody. I just do my thing, post my videos for people who can relate to the content and get on about my business. That's it. But to the people out there that's commenting nasty and rude things, y'all have a problem. A serious problem problem because the fact that you wake up out of your bed and you fester up your gums and your fucking keyboards channel and talk hella shit about them and they don't even know you and it's always the people with the no fucking profile pictures or the no subscribers the blank fucking usernames it's like why are you talking about things i don't let things get to me because doing youtube there's going to be negative people. There's going to be positive people. But it's kind of like when the negative people start to overshadow the positive people. And it's like y'all comments are majority on my videos. It becomes annoying. And to the people who are like, well, you shouldn't cuss. You shouldn't cuss. You shouldn't say this. You shouldn't say this. Where about your bills? Where about that job that you have to go to? Don't worry about what my video is or if I cuss a lot. Maybe that's my personality. Do I say anything when you when you have a drinking problem? Do I say anything when you have a, a drug problem? Hmm? No, I don't. Lately, my anxiety and depression has really been getting the best of me lately. And I think I've, I've talked about this before in a previous video. And honestly, my anxiety be so bad to the point where it really hinders it really hinders my ability to want to get on camera and film a youtube video and honestly like so many people be like can we get another video can you make a video on this and i'll be like yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but deep down inside i'll be like girl every day as a trans woman you know it comes with its challenges and even though I'm very proud and happy of who I am today there are still some times that when I go out in the world and society that I just be like like bitch are you for real are you for real bitch you know so it's like I have these moments of self-doubt of like <sighs> You know, it's when I don't want to go outside. There's some days where I'm just like, why, why am I here? Why am I on earth? Or like, why am I just doing this in general? And, you know, I'm not saying that what I did was wrong, but I feel like the older mm -hmm. I get, um, I'm starting to realize that like, I didn't have to necessarily like rush into transitioning. Um, I could have just took it day by day and steps like that now before y'all come in the comment section talking about oh my god here comes the video of why i'm detransitioning no let me stop you there pause stating the facts of me going into my transition at a certain age point till now and how it's kind of like flustered in and affected me in a certain way which honestly I feel like a lot of my depression and anxiety comes from a lot of childhood trauma growing up. It's a lot of things that I've been through in my life that I really don't discuss. Um, yeah. 
time I was like you know considered gay at the time before I transitioned to be a trans woman and I think at the time a lot of my trauma really came from me not being accepted and wanting to feel a sense of love and um be wanted around people and I think that's something that I never really actually got because every time I went around people it was always kind of like you can feel the vibe you can feel the tension is always off and I just never really was like okay let me take the time to focus on me and reel it back I was barely in my early stages of transitioning um so you know I'm dressing a certain way you know just trying to fill my oats um went to the gas station and um went to the gas station as you know there's typical dudes at the gas station you know normal stuff and one of the guys um i think he could tell that i was trans or whatever one of the guys um he ended up asking for my number and i was very scared i'm like no i don't want i don't want this man to have my number none of that because i'm like you know i don't know how people will react to be like oh i'm trans and stuff like that and my number um and i texted him for a few days and honestly i feel like this is where i fucked up at of letting this man come into my personal space um which was my house for us to kick it and hang out um it was a cool vibe or whatever um you know having a few glasses of wine smoking um you know watching a movie and um it took a dark turn um it took a dark turn um i ended up being forced to do something i did not want to do um essentially i was sexually assaulted my own home and it just really startled me and put me in fear of men that somebody that I really don't know and I invited them into my place of safety and they basically took advantage of me in my own place of safety and basically sexually assaulted me. He was armed. And in the back of my head, I, all I could think about was, this man is going to kill me. He's going to kill me in my own home. And all I could do was just sit there and just sit there and just take it. Because I was so in fear of my life and I was shocked and didn't know what to do at that moment in time. Um... And ever since then, it made me kind of be scared to be hanging around men or like in an intimate setting or just one-on-one. -on -one. And I think that's the problem with today of why I'm so scared of dealing with men or talking to men. So, yeah. So I get asked this question a lot. Why am I single? Or am I dating? Am I seeing anyone? What am I doing? Um. I'm single. I'm. I would like to date. Um, dating is cool, but I just feel like being a trans woman and living in today's society, it is very difficult to even have that conversation with most men who are not familiar with somebody who is fully transitioned. And I noticed that like a lot of guys, they say that they like trans but then they do it just to experiment something different or it's like a fetish or it's like a phase or an ex whatever they want to call it. And personally, I'm not no one's toy or pond and I refuse to be looked at as like, oh yeah, I can only, you know, talk to you at night, stuff like that. Personally, I can't deal with that. I do in the future want to get married. Um, I do want to have a family of my own, kids, I know. My problem is, I continue to go after men who are thugs. Men who are thugs, that is my problem. I'm sorry, I'm a sucker for a guy with tattoos, 
weapons. And personally, that's my fault. I need to really change my perspective and open up my eyes to more men out there. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm open to all races. Black, Latino, Mexican, um, Asian, black skin, all that. I'm open to it all. But my main priority now is who's gonna love me for me? Who's gonna be accepting that I am a trans woman? I do come with a lot of baggage, past trauma, that I just need you to be able to ease your way into my life and make me feel safe and secure and protected. Um, I want a man who's level-headed, who has something going for himself, um, good looking, hygiene, you know, on place, on car, got goals 50 on 50. We got the same goals and aspirations. And surprisingly, I've been kind of texting this guy that I met at work, um, texting for about almost a week now, and it's been going pretty well. Um, he's an older guy, not too old, um, like late 30s, early 40s. To realize that as I get older, I really need to start stepping out of my comfort zone more often. And when I say stepping out of my comfort zone, I don't mean just like doing small things. I mean in terms of like going out more, um, traveling more. I just need to really start doing it all because me, I'm very anti-social. And when I say anti-social, I mean like I can only be around like one or two people and I have to know you to be comfortable around you. If I don't know you, I am as quiet as a church mouse. You will Look around, everybody on mute. I come in contact with somebody new, that's literally always my mood. I'm looking around and I'm on mute. I don't have time to be trying to open up to any and everybody. Like, it's unfortunate because I think due to me having bad anxiety and being antisocial, that sometimes when people approach me to ask me questions or try to talk to me, I'd be like, Lord, please let them go somewhere else. Do not let them talk to me. And honestly, like as much as I love talking, like I can sit here in front of the camera all day long and talk because it's just me and the camera. But if I had to do this in front of like other people, I'm like, oh, bitch, girl. My social battery is so bad that if I go to a party, I can only stay there for two hours max. Maybe an hour and 30 minutes, two hours max. After that, maybe the battery's on 5% and I'm ready to go home. I believe that we are in May. Like, can y'all believe that? Like, we're in May. Like, girl, like, we're literally almost six months into the year. And it's just so crazy because time really flies. Time really flies. And it's just like, damn, like, I'll be 25 next year. And I'm like, oh my God, like, what? I'm almost finished with school. That, I cannot wait. I cannot wait because your girl is about to be degreed up, okay? Degreed up. We're honestly at about 500 and something subscribers. So to think that we've gained over 200 plus subscribers in like, I don't know, maybe like a two week span, two, three week span, that's a major accomplishment because that lets me know like I'm making content that you guys relate to and I'm gonna do my best to put out more videos. Videos will be every once a week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to relate in the best way possible because I know a lot of my trans girls out there, specifically my black trans girls out there, y'all can relate with a lot of things that I say and go through. Um, and I really appreciate the connection there. And I really wanna give a shout out to a lot of you guys who have been DMing me and asking me questions about the reassignment procedure. How do you do it? Hope to see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your comments are. Comment down below. Check out any of my other videos that will be listed in the description box below. And as always, if you don't love yourself, then how the hell are you gonna love somebody else? Bye.